get any man shot. Wow. I've seen the fight. See, he I went know, in too cocky. I don't know nothing about boxing. He got his ass kicked. That's all you need to know about boxing. That nigga got his ass kicked. Mm. For real. Why so everybody's so hard on him? <laughs> Because when you come in and you cocky like that, P, that's oh, like so if he it was, was a rapper. That. He, he was that's like that. if it was a rapper that said he was the shit and he this and that, then he battled somebody and get fucked up by somebody he was supposed to beat. You're like, oh, nigga, you whack. Yeah, Floyd don't just talk, he really work hard. This is the big difference between talking and not working hard. Yeah, no, no. You, Floyd listen, work hard Floyd, in that you gym. Gonna get, you gonna get fucked up. Cause he, yeah, because he does what he does. He's not, he don't play no games. He don't drink, he don't smoke. He go to work, he may party, but shit, he know how to party. Ain't nothing wrong with having a party and celebrating your victory, but as long as you don't intake, you don't intake, you don't partake, you just partake. Well, Floyd didn't start off like that. Floyd started off humble. <clears throat> he got like that when the motherfucker started disrespecting him. When all them old ass fight, you know, the fight doctors and all them wasn't giving him his respect. Cause he, he went off on one of them old motherfuckers one night. So I beat your motherfucking ass. Oh, you, I remember that. He told that old motherfucker on that. HBO, exactly. right? Exactly. Now guess what network he on now? Showtime. That's why he didn't fight Pacquiao. Cause he first of all he didn't want to take the blood test, and then he was saying, "Nigga, I need 60 40. You lost me. Why didn't want to take the blood test though? No, hmm? Pacquiao didn't want to take the blood test. Oh. To prove that he wasn't on steroids. Oh, okay. But yeah, to well, me, you know, I'm, you, you know, I'm, you're teaching me right now. Yeah, I'm, but I'm to like, me, I would, if I was Floyd, I'd be like, fuck the drug test, nigga. I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass. I don't give a fuck what you on, nigga. Get your ass in the ring, nigga. Get your ass in the ring. I don't give a fuck what you on, nigga. I'm gonna beat it out, you nigga. Yeah, but why you little boy in him, though? You little boy in him. Come here, little boy. <laughs> beat your I'm ass. Beat this prescription out your motherfucking ass. This illegal prescription you got. He's our Muhammad Ali. Like, when I was a kid, Muhammad Ali was the baddest motherfucker in the world. I couldn't touch him. I couldn't see him. I could only watch him on ABC Sports fighting, see him talking with Howard Cosell. But do we have a Howard though? Stephen A. Smith is That's sort of kind of. to me. Huh? He's sort of kind of. He is the one. He, he can he be that. He cracks me up. He, he, he could be the one. Because he, he keeps it so real. He's a nigga on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah, all yeah. times. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the crazy shit is that guy exists in the hood right now. Yeah. That's who need to do it. For real though, right? We need one on the show. If I find you one right now. He's hired. Is he on weekly? What He's on got? weekly. He's on with us weekly, yes. And he'll do all the sports commentary the way he can okay. do. He can interview Kobe and all okay. his athletes. I'm going to find you a guy that's going to make you laugh. That's going to be that Howard Cosell kind of motherfucker. He's going to tell it. GG, enemy is shot. Church, preach, tabernacle.